Also, the plot leaks were true after all. Shit. So Fox has just released a new trailer for X-Men Dark Phoenix, or rather just Dark Phoenix, and the only thing I feel right now is just... nothing. Because truth be told, I don't really care about this movie in the slightest, and not only that, it just feels like a slight variation of The Last Stand, only with very minor differences. I'll give the movie this though, at the very least they are actually going to be focusing on Jean's past and delving more into her character this time around. Whether this is going to be well executed has yet to be seen. But we do see Charles Xavier recruiting Jean Grey for his school at a very young age. But as it turns out, it has been revealed that Charles Xavier has been hiding something from Jean, mainly so that she can remain in check. Both in terms of her mental health as well as her powers. As to which they both go hand in hand. Now this scene right there has been taken directly from the plot leaks in that we do get to see Jean's parents die from a car crash. And based on the earlier scenes, it does seem like Charles is the one who wiped those memories away from Jean. And since Jean is feeling betrayed by Charles, Jean decided to turn to Magneto of all people. Which once again, this is the exact same thing that happened in The Last Stand. And am I the only one who's getting sick of Magneto constantly turning from good to bad to good again in every movie? And then we also get to see the introduction of Cheska Chaskane's character. Now who is she you may ask? I don't think even she still knows who she's meant to be playing, although many people believe that she is going to be a scroll in this film, or at the very least Fox's watered down version of a scroll. Now what I've noticed about this trailer at the very least is that it does appear that Jean is going to be portrayed as somewhat of a villain, as she is clearly alpha revenge on Charles and the X-Men it seems, which is a pretty weird angle to take the character. And I don't mean the influence of the Dark Phoenix, but it does seem like Jean is doing everything in her own accord, and there's no sign of her being possessed whatsoever. Now could they be building up towards the revelation of the Dark Phoenix entity? Possibly. But since she has a clear motivation, it does seem like Jean will in fact become a villain herself for majority of the film. And speaking of the X-Men, we do get to see them in their brand new uniforms. Personally, I would rather them have their own unique uniforms that they had at the end of X-Men Apocalypse, but I would take this over some of the previous costumes that we had in the past. And in this movie, it does appear that we're going to see the resurrection of the Brotherhood. As to which it does appear that Beast is going to be a part of this new brotherhood, mainly due to the fact that, at least from the plot leaks, Mystique will be killed off fairly early on. And since he's grieving, as well as the fact that he thinks Charles is in the wrong, Beast decides to join Magneto and the brotherhood. And at the very near end of the trailer, we do get to see Jean absorbing some of the solar flares, and that's how she's going to become the Dark Phoenix. Which is a little confusing because earlier on in the trailer, it did seem like she did have some sort of hidden potential. Unless it's the Dark Phoenix that helps Jean unlock her hidden potential, in which case, maybe that can work? But I don't know, I've seen this trailer at least 3 or 4 times now, and truth be told, I still feel nothing. They keep shoving it down our throats in that this is going to be the end, and seeing what we've got so far, it doesn't feel like a satisfying conclusion. Because the whole film feels depressing, and I don't mean that in a good way. And you know that this movie is depressing when they get rid of the X-Men from the title. So what do you think of the first official trailer for X-Men Dark Phoenix? Are you looking forward to the conclusion of the Fox's X-Men franchise, or do you think that this is way too depressing? Comment below and share some thoughts. And as always, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe. Take care and have a good one.